Welcome to my channel. My name is Larry and I appreciate y'all stepping in long enough to watch this video. Uh, we're going to be changing out a GE 30 amp double pole breaker. Uh, I've already taken a few screw cover, uh, screws out of the cover for the actual breaker box. And let me start out with saying the first thing you, you really need to do, especially if you're a beginner or novice, is turn the power off, main power to this breaker box. However, we're going to be working with live power. We need the light in the room to do it. And we've been playing and working around electricity for over 20 years, so we're going to be practicing a lot of safety in it. You'd want to wear some gloves, non-conductive if possible, and then you'd also want to uh, wear some safety glasses. All right, let's get this ball on the road. Let me move these screws out of the panel cover and get this off. Well, at this point, we've got the cover off, and you can see the mess in the box. GE, GE 200, I believe it's 200 amp supply. Yeah, that's what the broker says up the top. And the reason we're showing the video and filming the video is if you look at this breaker right here, it is tripped. And you can feel by moving it back and forth, it stays locked in there. But after you run the dryer for a while, this is on a dryer circuit, it, it, it stays in the middle and it just keeps tripping over and over. Now, we're assuming that it's a breaker issue. It could be something in the dryer itself, but the purpose of this video is to show you how to change out that 30 amp double pole breaker. Now, I'm going to take this little Klein tool here. Let's see if we can get it up here for you. It's a pretty handy little gadget. You may want to grab me one of these at Home Depot or Lowe's or any store that sells them or even online. They're a measly, oh, I'd say around $15, $20 at this filming of this video. And you can check your voltage pretty simply with this thing. You hit this little button right here on top. It lights up. It's green. It'll turn red whenever there's voltage. So now, we'll, oh boy, that wasn't very good. Yeah, I guess it showed it up pretty good on the camera. Now we're going to run over here, and we're just going to hit a couple of these breakers just to show you how this thing works. This 20 amp, this 20 amp, this 20 amp is all on. Go to where the wire's going in, you see it turns red. It lets you know that that's a live wire. Same thing on this one. It's a live wire. Now I'm not sure, you'll be able to see this. This is the breaker we're working on. It's off. Get two wires. You got a 120 and 120 feet. Now that's 240 going to the socket or 230. Now you put this on. Voila. You got a voltage coming out. Voila, you got a voltage coming out of there. Now, that's letting you know that that is a hot area. You just don't want to stick your fingers in there for sure. And it's recommended that if you're going to work with live stuff, that you uh, use a screwdriver as such. This is a south wire. Got a protected handle on it. It's got the little tip to fit the GE breaker. Grab the breaker and I'll show you that. There, it takes a while to focus. There's your GE breaker. Single throw, double pole. And on the back side of it, let me get it up here. Kind of hard filming this video by myself. But this screwdriver right here has a little square head. I guess it's called a hex head. And it fits perfectly inside there. So it's really easy to tighten and unscrew those screws to release that locking mechanism, which is right there. Now I'm going to take my Klein tools, also this meter. And we're going to see how many volts is actually coming out of it. We're going to set this thing to 600 volts. And you got your hot and your negative. We're going to come over here. It's going to be hard for me to show this to you, I believe. It's 240, 43 volts coming out of that breaker. Now yesterday when I checked this breaker, there was nothing. It was kind of locked in the middle and there was no voltage coming out of it. Now you're checking both sides of that breaker to get that. Now if you want to check a single breaker, you can go right up here so we can get it in there. 
put the hot wire in the actual back side of the breaker and then come over here to the neutral bar. So you got 121 volts. Let's see if get it to you. There you go. That's how you check a single. Single breaker, one line, 120 volts. All right, let's move on to getting that breaker out. Remember, safety, 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 safety. You cannot, you do not get a second chance with uh, electricity. You get one shot at it. If you mess up, you might be pushing daisies in the morning. So wear safety gear, practice safety. Be careful with this stuff. If you don't know what you're doing, hire an electrician. We're going to turn the breaker off. We know there's voltage coming in, so this is this is a hot hot line right here. I like to, there's several ways you can do this. I like to take the whole breaker out completely, flip it out, pull it out. Now you're playing with nothing there is alive when you're touching this area. It's, it's dead. There's nothing here. As you see, you got two wires going to it. Each one of them is around 120 volts, makes it a little 240. Now, this is the same type of breaker I was telling you about. Go right in there. Unscrew it. Do the same on the other side. Unscrew it. Keep these wires away from anything over there. There's your defective breaker. Now you can come right back over here. Let's see if we get this up here. You want to make sure that, let me see if I can get it, that you open that up, that little horseshoe in there, so the wire fit inside it. See how that's coming open? The wire goes inside that. Well, if we ever get that thing in there. Sorry about that, folks. This video is not going to be the most high class video in the world, but I think I'll get the point over. You will come back in here, put one of them in there, make sure it's all the way into the back as far as you can get it, and hold it in place, and tighten it down. I'll be in the middle of the video here. I'm right handed, not left handed, okay. That wire's getting snug. Do the same thing on the other one, push it in place, hold it in there like that. Snug it that tight as you get it. I really break a breaker and have a loose wire. If you have a loose wire in your electrical system, it can be a problem. It can possibly cause a fire. Now, keep in mind again that we're playing with live voltage right over here. There's two, there's a lug down here and another lug up in the top there. It's hard to see from the camera. But I'll show you one at the top as soon as I get this breaker installed. Now, for the reference, if you look at the, the one I took out of here, it's the same thing as what we're putting in. This is the front, of course. These two things here have to go across the bar, supplying the main voltage. And if you look at the other end, these two notches right here will go actually in this bar right here. So let me pop that in place and show you. Make sure the breaker's turned off, which it is. Kind of get you an angle like that right there. Again, where your protection? It kind of, you see it kind of goes in there a certain way. You've got to kind of angle it back like so. And then at the same time, it's not easy with the wires in there. But it's just the way I like to work with it. Okay, you see how that snapped in there? That means it's in place. And you'll know, you'll see this all lined up over here, and this all lined up over here. Now, I'm not sure why the guy, whoever did electrical work on this house before, taped this off. But I'm assuming that that was a 220 being pulled on two breakers, and he used one wire coming out, and he didn't want nobody to throw that one on because there's nothing on it. So that's how it's installed. Now, let's check the voltage coming out of it. We're going to take our little Klein meter here. Actually, this is a Klein in CVT-1 voltage tester. Good, up, good for up to 100, I mean 1,000 volts. We're going to click it on, flip the breaker, 
You got good voltage. You got good voltage. Flip the breaker off. Nada. You got nothing. That's good. So the breaker's properly installed. Now if you was doing this with no live voltage, you would actually come up here, flip off your main breaker. If you're a novice, a beginner, I would highly recommend flipping this completely off. That way you have no voltage at any of these over here. See? These are the bars I was telling you about earlier that this breaker has to snap into. You get the other end of it there. Right there. These go into this side here. And then these two right here. This one and this one. Snap in to these bars here. You get voltage from this leg and you get voltage from this leg. So it's pulling from opposite side to get 240 volts. If you just connect on one, you get 110. If you jump them between here and here, you get nothing. So you have to be able to connect this one to this one to actually get you 240 volts. Well, guys, I hope this helped you in some form or fashion. We are not a professional. Let me get the camera here focused. I'm just an old fart. Lives out in the middle of the woods somewhere. And uh, we try to pass on what experience we have. We're in our mid 60s. And uh, we don't know everything. But uh, if you have a question or comment, please post them below. I'll respond as soon as I can. I may have an answer, I may not, but I'll sure respond and let you know. But that's how you change out a, a, a double pole 30 amp GE breaker. And uh, put a plug out there for Klein Tools, man. Klein Tools got some pretty cool stuff out there, and it's not over the, over your normal budget. Uh, always test before you work on this electricity. Uh, your life is valuable, and it's uh, something that will kill you, and you will not get a second chance. So if you don't know what you're doing, hire an electrician. Uh, if you want to play with it, be careful. Kill the main breaker before you start doing anything else. Don't assume. Always check before working on electricity. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope that uh, you hit the like and subscribe button for our future videos. We'll notify when, when you we put something out there. Again, thanks for watching.